Creating bone systems. The bone system is used to link bones and joints in a hierarchy. We can use it to animate or we can use it to transform this hierarchy into either a forward kinematic or a reverse kinematic. Uh, so animating the bones using the inverse kinematics is a little easier. Um, we can animate any type of a character as well as machinery such as a backhoe using these bone systems. To create the bones, we're going to go up into our control panel. And we're going to go to the Create tab. We're going to come over here to our Systems button, to our Standards drop-down, and go to Bones. And we're going to pick on Bones, and then we're going to left-click in here to create our set of bones. I'm going to work in my front view. I'm going to pick, I'm going to drag, and I'm going to pick, and I'm going to drag, and I'm going to pick, and I'm going to drag. And I'm going to right click, and I've created four bones in a row. Okay, so you can see how I got the four bones here. And, and I'm going to turn my grid off here, right, turn my grid off here. And uh, whoop, and I'm going to turn my grid off over here. I'll hit G. And so I got my grid off in all four of those. And, and now I've created the bones in each one of them. Notice the bone I created first uh, is going to be at the top of the hierarchy. And the bone I created last is going to be at the bottom of my hierarchy. If I want to um, modify the appearance of the bones, I can pick on a bone. And I can go to modify, and I can end up uh, seeing my bone parameters rollout is displayed, and I can use this to modify. So uh, at this point, I've created four different bones: one, two, three, four, and I use those. Uh, I've created those bones in my create tab. I went over to my create tab. I went to my systems, my standard, and went to bones, and I picked with my left mouse button to create one bone and I could create many bones in a row if I want. And next we'll take a look at our bones parameter rollouts in our next video.